Welcome back, folks. Welcome to Bowling with Buddy. Again, I've got my partner here, Hutch, from The Hype. Uh, can't ask for a better bowling partner on doing these videos with. Uh, it's just an exceptional bowler. Great guy, more than anything, and uh, throws the ball really, really good. Today, we're going to be talking about the uh, Storm IQ Tour Ruby. Uh, beautiful red ball. Looks amazing going down a lane, and I'm going to be comparing it to uh, the IQ Tour Solid, and uh, I believe Hutch. Got IQ Tour as well, uh, both of them, the, the Pearl and the Solid. So definitely, man, want to get these balls down the lane, man. So you get your thoughts on it. Yeah, so again, thanks for everybody subscribing. If you like this video, we appreciate it. You share it, that's even better. Uh, just trying to build up this channel as much as we can and give you as much quality content. But right now, let's get to the lanes. Do it. Good. Okay, today we're out here with the IQ Tour Ruby, really nice shiny red ball, pearl version of the IQ Tour. I'm gonna move right and I'm gonna try and throw this ball. I'm at 21 with my feet and I'm trying to throw this ball over 70. It struck. I found something. I didn't hit 7 8 at the arrows, I hit 7 8 down lane. That's Kind of the opposite of what I was trying to do, but it worked. All right, well, since that worked, I'm gonna try and repeat that. Now, Hutch and I were just talking a few moments ago. I never actually had the IQ Tour Emerald. I never had the, uh, the gold IQ Tour. Um, this is kind of like my introduction to the IQ Tour Pearls. I've got the IQ Tour Solid, uh, but uh, so far what I'm seeing, this, this roll pull pretty good. All right, we're gonna try and do that one more time. See what this ball can do. I leaked it right a little bit, um, but also kind of backed off the ball speed and the ball managed to come back off the spot and strike. All right, so we're gonna start a little, a little more square. This ball does like being a little, a little straighter sometimes. Ooh. Buddy made that look really easy. Ah, give it a little, a little more room for me. Uh, but as you see, the ball is going through, the, going through the pins. All right, so I'm gonna scoot two left off that shot. See if I can give it enough room. Control, control for a pearl. Like it's not overly like snappy. Um, once the lanes get like really trash, then you know, then this ball like again it makes a more defined motion. But man, when there's some oil out there, don't be afraid to move right. Tighten up those angles. Now I'm gonna take a big jump left. See what she does. Little deflection but still made the move um, and got ten, all 10 out. Yeah. All right, so uh, Hutch is throwing three shots with the IQ Tour uh, Ruby, and I've thrown a Ruby. Now I'm gonna throw the IQ Tour itself and kind of give you an idea of the comparison. I'm gonna stand in the same spot and I'm gonna hit the same spot and see what the ball does differently. So it struck, it may look the same as the IQ Tour Ruby, but it read a little sooner and made the turn sooner than the Ruby did. Okay, well, uh, that ball looked pretty similar. Uh, let's try and do that again. I'm gonna migrate just a couple boards left and see how this goes. Oh, I leaked that right. Poor execution does not give you a good result. Bang. Okay, we're gonna try again. And have a little better execution of hitting our spots. We're gonna look at 12 at the arrows, seven, eight down lane. I missed left. And that's the result. Throw an IQ, I'm gonna move a little right. <sighs> a 
once you master the hand, I feel like the IQ tour becomes like a god ball. But for those amateurs like myself, man, it's just, yeah. But it looked good right there, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take step left. Probably about four, about four boards. Oh, that threw that. Dead oh, that's a time. mess. But it struck. It struck. That's not a great shot, but it did strike. Carries the world. <laughs> All right, so that last shot, I missed. I'm still gonna take another step left. Oh, out the window. It might. This IQ, I think for some people, like it's, it's really controllable. But for me and even Buddy a little bit, like this ball kind of takes off at times. And this ball really surprises me. Cause I feel like if I throw most balls out that far right, it, it might not make it back. But because of how sharp this ball can be, it, it did that. All right, so I'm back into the Ruby. Uh, gonna throw this again. And I'm gonna move left a little bit here. Actually, I'm gonna move a lot left. I'm moving seven left and just kind of see how this ball recovers when I throw it to the right. Wow, that turned. 10 back. So this bowling ball just makes me look good because it's not the execution that's doing it, it's bowling ball. I gotta admit, it looks pretty darn good. Yeah, Butch can do it, so can I. And he gets some help. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep moving left. Probably have to let off the speed a little bit. Didn't get it far enough right, so let's try to make a better shot. All right, so we're gonna try to execute a better shot here. Hey, a little loft. So just gave it a little loft to help it clear the fronts. Um, most bowling centers, they wipe off like the first couple feet of the lane. So if you put it down, like it's gonna burn the ball up essentially. So, hey, I like the way that ball's looking. Okay, so I'm gonna move all the way left. Um, I'm gonna throw, I'm going to try and throw the ball over fourth arrow to the right and see if we can get this ball to turn the corner. Hit fourth arrow. Oh, and it turned. It turned hard. Continuation. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try that again. Just so you know, I'm standing on 35 with my feet and I'm trying to hit fourth arrow. I may hit a little right of it because my tendency is to miss right. <clears throat> I missed right. Oh, but I managed to get the ball to flip a corner. All right, I'm gonna stand right now about 21, and I'm gonna throw the ball in between the first and second arrow, probably looking at about uh, eight, nine, down lane. Man, does that thing turn. Well, um, <laughs> gonna try that again, and I'm gonna try and step the back of the ball this time and see if I can get this ball to Play down and in. A little better. Previous ball jumped off the spot because I kind of turned my hand a little bit more than I should have, especially when you're playing on the outside. That's not what you want to do. Uh, that time I kind of stayed behind the ball, kind of came up the back of it. Ball had a really good forward roll, and when it left the spot, it still maintained its energy and kind of went through the pins. Let's see if Hutch can play straight up the boards this time. All right, to the twig I go. He said straight up the twig. Hey man, the gray board doesn't hook. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see if we can avoid the gray board. <laughs> I avoided the gray board. I don't know what you're asking for, man. <laughs> like, Hutch, I'm giving you one more shot here, man. Come on, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna cheat just a 
about two boards from that first shot. Let's see if we can't get this into the pocket. Wow. <laughs> hey, I'm not mad at that shot. This is not where I would at all be playing. But again, the ball still looks reasonable from right there. So I'm not mad at that. All right, well, um, Hutch executed his shots and uh, unfortunately left him a 4-9. Now I'm going to throw one more shot here and see how this ball finishes up. That'll do. Bang, bang. All right, folks, that's a wrap. Um, all done with the IQ Tour Ruby. And uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, before we started the video, I wasn't too confident because I really couldn't find a line. I couldn't get the ball to turn a corner. I couldn't, I couldn't turn it, right? Hutch is swinging the lane with his, but once I settled down, we kind of got in and uh, found the ball to really shape really, really, really good uh, down lane. And for me, it played real well from a variety of different parts of the lane. I was able to play the outside, I play the middle, and surprisingly enough, I was actually able to swing the lane with it. So yeah. what were your thoughts? And that's what really kind of surprised me when we first started talking about it, that he wasn't seeing exactly what I was seeing because upon immediately throwing this ball at a slightly higher friction center, um, this ball looked amazing. Like it gave me, like you said, kind of, I could play a little straighter and I could move far left with it. This by far is like, it's one of the staples in my bag. This, an MV Tour and a Brutal Collision. I'm not on storm staff like, like my man Buddy or global <laughs> staff, so I could throw a little bit of everything, but this ball is definitely, again, a staple in my bag, my six ball arsenal. So. Yeah, and so the lanes we were bowling on, uh, you know, you'll notice I'm wearing the same shirt as you'll see in the DNA video. Um, you know, we just chewed up the lanes using the, uh, the DNA, the reality, and we threw probably six games on that just before we started throwing the IQ Tour Ruby. Just kind of give you an idea of how this ball is going to lay out on uh, medium to fresh oil. And the ball looks really, really good, really dependable. Right. And um, I, it's a ball I would find that I could use on a variety of different patterns, uh, especially house shot, burned up house shots. Definitely. Uh, especially a great, you know, if it's a cliff shot, this is a ball that's really going to help out. And uh, I could see myself using on uh, the, you know, the tour more often. Yeah, especially when lanes transition, like yeah. I definitely see that ball coming into play, man. And especially on those tricky right. 39 foot to like 42 foot, right. kind of push you in some different directions. Yeah. Um, definitely, again, that, that would make a lot of sense to I me. I can see it on a long oil pattern too, where the lanes really break down and I need to move inside and I need to control the back end. Uh, that's, that's a ball that's kind of keep me in the pocket. So definitely. it's got a lot of hitting power. Uh, it goes through the pins pretty well, so. Uh, and uh, the other thing I want to notice too, um, it's still shiny. This is the actual uh, surface that came out of the ball, out of the box. It's reactor gloss. I didn't do anything to the surface this time. I've talked in previous videos where I've actually altered the surface. I've sanded it, re brought it up. This is strictly out of box. This is what I, I punched holes in it and I threw it. Uh, same. Same, same thing. Same thing. The, the so, past like three releases or so. Like, that's exactly what I've been trying to do is like, let's see what the reactive gloss is doing. They're yeah. going to keep continue to get better. And I've been saying that throughout all my videos yep. that the reactive gloss, this finishing process is going to get better over time. It's just right. manufacturing. It, so. it's, it definitely uh, it rolled really, really well. It got through the heads nice. And uh, again, no surface changes. So the ball really did what I wanted it to do. Right. And it, uh, it's a great compliment to the IQ Tour. So. Thanks again for everybody subscribing to my channel who have. Uh, share my videos, we appreciate it. Appreciate the love and all the support. Definitely. Check out this man, the hype. You know, can't beat it, 12 bagger, cool wick. It's got some really cool stuff. I've got IM Bowling. And uh, until then, you guys keep striking. All right, man, same, out.